This is a video. This is a video about the different levels of retention holsters. I have a level three retention holster that I just started carrying. In. We also have level two retention holsters and level one. I carry a level three retention holster because I just like a little more security. I don't mind the extra step to get it out. And um, in the work I do, I feel like it's necessary sometimes. So I do security, and a lot of times when you do security, people will tell you the only thing you should have is a level three, and I don't necessarily believe that. You should have some kind of retention on any holster if you open a carrier, but you don't always need so much as three levels. So the levels of the holster is just referring to how many, how many different levers you have to hit to feed the retention of the holster and get out. So for example, on this holster, I have to feed three levels, which is the button right here, and the button on the inside, and then the hood pops off and it comes out. If I don't hit either one, meaning if I hit the button on this side, the hood will pop off, but the hood will come out. And the same vice versa, if I hit this button alone, then the hood doesn't pop off and the gun doesn't come out. Now, a level two holster only has one level of retention, such as what my partner has on here. His only level of retention is this lever in the back. Some of them have the retention on the side, but this works just fine. If you see, when I pull on his gun, his gun is still on his hip tight. Now, this is the kind that you can slide onto your belt. Whereas mine is bolted on. It's a little different, it's a little sturdier. I have a duty belt on and a thunder belt. You screw this to the duty belt and anytime you want to put it on a new setup, you just get some couplers and you put it on your inner belt and you're good to go. Whereas that, you can clip it off and the whole holster comes off along with the gun. Now, I've seen level two retention holsters malfunction if you might, people, if you snatch the gun out, if it's a heavy gun and you snatch it out with enough force, sometimes the level two retention won't hold it. But the level three is always gonna stick. So when it comes down to picking a holster, whether you just open carry it or you have to do security work or whatever, go with what you're comfortable with. I never advise a holster with level one retention, which is no buttons, it's just the retention of the codex. I always advise, even if you're not doing security, at least have one level of security on your holster, whether it be the thumb button or whether it be the finger button, just so if somebody does try to grab it while you're out and about or while you're working, they don't know how to take a, a gun out of a holster properly. It takes some training or you have to at least know how the retention holster works so the average Joe can't just snatch your gun off your hip and use it on you. But that's all I got for